When we place one of these micro-optic concentrators out in the sun to collect sunlight, uh, what happens is we have lots of little lenses that are collecting the light, and each one of these lenses is now coupling that light into a, a big piece of glass, a slab of glass that is capturing all the light from thousands of apertures. And then all of this light is getting channeled to one, one location, and at that location, that's where we're placing a photovoltaic, and this is going to be the device that actually converts that sunlight into electricity. So the path is a bit different in that it comes in from the top and now is getting moved sideways and being confined within a new medium. And that medium is this, this slab of glass and that's the waveguide. The real uh, thrust, the real reason that we're trying to do this, this type of concentrator uh, is, is certainly for cost. We want to try and minimize uh, the cost of the components and really minimize the cost of the optics, but the optics also so associated with the entire system. So when we can start to look at how do we build optics very cheaply, we need to be looking at what technologies do we have to build them. And one of the primary technologies that we have is roll-to-roll -roll processing and these big, large batch processes that are fabricating uh, large televisions and other large area pieces of glass that we see in, in everyday electronics. So we're really trying to use the things that we have learned from, from other, uh, other fabrication technologies and try to apply that in ways that we can build optics on a large scale for solar power. What I've done so far is really the research and looking at uh, the trade-offs associated um, with this type of design. What happens when you collect light using this type of, of geometry? Um, how that translates to a commercial product, uh, there's certainly a, a path there. Um, I don't know exactly what that commercial product would look like. Um, there's several aspects of the design that we're exploring uh, and how we can manipulate the light. Once we have sunlight in a waveguide, uh, we can do all sorts of interesting things. Um, and how that would actually translate into your, your final consumer product and what you could put on your house or in your backyard um, is still, uh, still to be determined. So a solar concentrator is just a, a, any kind of optic that is going to collect sunlight and focus it onto something else. Your simple magnifying glass uh, in your, your you know, experiment can be a solar concentrator. 